you there, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, ah, oh, the couple of music. One thing is true in life. In order to be successful, we all need help. Many of us like to work alone or we like to do things on an individual basis. And I understand why that is because many times we don't trust people or people can just get into your way. I understand. But if you ever want to be great, you need a team. That's why when we talk about the greatest players of all time, like Michael Jordan or Tom Brady in football. They didn't do it by themselves. They had a lot of help. Tom Brady had Bill Belichick. Michael Jordan had Phil Jackson. Joe Montana had Bill Walsh. And the rest is history. And they had great players alongside of them who helped them achieve their goals. But stop the show. O'Shea, what are you talking about? What does this have to do with the city girl mayor, Tiffany Hingard? Rewind, Dima! So teamwork makes a dream work. And even when you're corrupt, you can't do it by yourself. Even in many third world countries, when you have corrupt regimes, dictators, dictators need corrupt people to help the corruption keep going. They need bank people. They need insurance people. They need forex people. They need international money launderers. They need gunshots. <laughs> Killers, sometimes people who can enforce laws. You need those people in order to keep things going. And you know what that is? It's still teamwork. So when it comes to Tiffany Henyard, can she do all the corruption and stealing by herself? Can I get a da 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 sound effect? <laughs> the answer is no. And even she has a team. But the number one guy on her team that helps her destroy everything in the village of Dalton is this guy. Drum roll, please. Keith Freeman. Oh yes. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Keith Freeman is the village manager of Dalton. And oh yes, he's recently filed for bankruptcy. But I'm not really dealing with that. That's not something that's important. I want to deal with what the former chief of staff had to say about Keith Freeman. Let's see what she had to say. Self-righteous individual I have ever met in my life. Her administrator, let me be real clear, Keith D. Freeman is even worse. I had proof that they told us to not come to the board meeting for the trustees. I had proof. He emailed us and said, if we came to the board meeting, you know, because the board meeting was slipped and, and mixed, in, we would be fired immediately. He went into my email and wiped it. He went into my email and wiped it. I only had, when I quit, 20 emails between the two of us. And if I'm the chief of staff and he the village administrator, we talk a lot, right? He wiped it. He came in and said, I need to get rid of the communications director the former communications director. I said, you might not want to do that because um, he's good at what he do. Guess what? He went and told him, I'm going to bring somebody else over you. This person has zero experience. He didn't even know how to work a Zoom. He didn't even know how to send an email. He don't know how to make a flyer. He don't know how to do anything relating to communications, but I'm gonna make him over you. This man who's quite literally a, a college level professor. Of course he quit. <laughs> but then guess what? Keith Friedman went and told HR, send him home now. So the next board meeting come up. Now everybody's being muted <laughs> because the guy he got don't know what the hell he doing. So I had to step in and then Keith also told us to mute everybody off of Facebook. Any negative comments, delete them, block them, get rid of them. Delete them, block them, because she don't want to hear it. It's not about you. Rule of thumb when it comes to marketing, one-on-one, -on -one, who are you marketing to? The consumer. You may, like, you may not like them shoes, and you sell her some. But guess what? At the end of the day, it ain't about you and what you like, right? It's about what she like because you're trying to appease to your 
residents, your consumers, the people who vote for you. So this is stuff I'm telling Tiffany, right? And that's just the first part. Now, things I've seen, I can confirm that she, was, they, she and he told us to hold the warrant list from the trustees. You know why? She said, because we are at war, and how do we give our opponent resources to help them? War? And I'm saying this in front on camera, recorded, say it. She said it, I was going to, oh, war. We are at war. I can't give them anything to help them. For your request. So the media reached out and they wanted to know about the withholding another four year request. Keep in mind, it come to me because I'm HR, right? This is what I do, I'm the HR PR. I reached out to Shantae. No, I first reached out to Jimmy. Even though Shantae is technically a corporate attorney, I learned that from Kiana. <laughs> um, and I'll get to that story in a second, but I went to Jimmy Vasali. He turned, so I emailed him, he didn't call me back. I'm, so I called him, he didn't call me back. I ended up calling Shantae. I said, the media is reaching out to me about something, about some FOIA requests they ain't getting responded to. Y'all know y'all ain't did this. He told me to write in my statement, the clerk has not turned it in. Can't do that. Now guess what? I have text messages of what he said to say in this phone, because I did everything for my personal phone. <laughs> for a reason, period. So, he said, no, you're gonna say the clerk refused to give you the information to turn in. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna go lie on this lady, she looked like my mama. <laughs> I'm not about to say that. And that's it, that's all. And then I realized that I'm hearing on a conversation, Keith is going into the deputy clerk's email. Then he hung up on me. I said, did he just say? So yeah, you know what I did? I went right to the deputy clerk. Watch your email, boo, because he's in it. Because he took IT ability, keep in mind, he has IT background, to have access to the back, you know, the back door, the back office, wiping out the emails so you can't use them against them. Oh boy, but that's not all. Let's go rewind. <laughs> Let's look at his criminal record. Now, Keith Freeman, he's been in and out of trouble since he was a young person. Uh, he was charged for theft in 2000. He was charged with a felony in Iowa when he turned 27. This was back in 2005. Theft in the second degree. Oh, Keith is a busybody. He has a long rap sheet. He never cleared up his charges because back in 2011, he was in Palm Beach, Florida, where they extradited him back to Iowa. They said out of state fugitive. Fugitive from refugitive from justice. That's your boy, Keith Freeman. Because we all know Tiffany Henyard made a big fuss about not giving background checks. And this is one of the reasons why she didn't want to give a background check. Because anybody that works for a municipal department or the city can have felonies. And I'm pretty sure they can't have theft. He's a nationwide criminal. He's been in Iowa. He got caught up in Chicago, Kentucky, Davies County, uh, Kentucky. He's been in Palm Beach, Florida. All these are appearing on his arrest record. How in the world are you filing for bankruptcy, not able to pay your bills? You live in an apartment. That's what I found out from his bankruptcy. He lives in an apartment, probably not so expensive apartment. You're collecting money from the village of Dalton, and you're also collecting money from Thornton Township. So you're making about $150,000 a year. I'm pretty sure it's more. He's saying that he only works for Thornton Township. Your income, Thornton Township, municipality manager, Gross income, $5,800. Now, I'm not the smartest tool in the shed, but from the payroll expenses of Village of Dalton payroll, Keith is on here. This was just in October. Keith Freeman, $3,800 every two weeks. And he claims that he only makes $5,800 from Thornton Township, employer's name, Thornton Township. I want to give a big shout out to Dalton Trustees YouTube page and also Shawan Burns, 
beautiful lady for getting this information on uh, Mr. Keith Freeman's uh, criminal record. So if you look at the criminal record, that would completely disbar him for even being associated as a village employee. But not only did Keith Freeman commit crimes in Illinois, he's also done it in Iowa. He's done it in Florida. He's done it in Kentucky. He's even been on the run and had to come back. And he's a criminal with a budget he has access to. Not only is he doing so in Dalton, he's also doing so in Thornton Township. So why is this important? Because Tiffany Hingert has built a team around dysfunction and fraud. Remember Lavelle Redmond, the man that she was having a relationship with. Booty clapping sounds. <laughs> he was convicted for SEGS assault. He was an SEGS offender. She hired him anyway. And so you wonder, why is she doing things like that? Because she wants to run a criminal regime. You see, corrupt people don't care about merit-based systems. And I noticed that by just living in this part of the world. It's not about being good. Mm, it's more or less about relationships. Relationships are more important than being good. Fulfilling the duties of what the person is asking of you is more important than being good. Then you wonder why do such places never develop? Why do such places never grow? Well, it's because of that particular situation. It's not designed to grow. See, Tiffany Hingard never intended on making Dalton a better place because if she did, she would have the staff around her that would not be like Mr. Keith Freeman, but that wasn't the case. Dalton was supposed to help enhance her and allow her to do whatever she wanted to do. And that's why Dalton's in a lot of trouble, for now at least. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Dude Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Slurpy Drunk. Appreciate you for your subscribe to the bell. We're out.